Assalamualaikum bismillahirrahmanirrahim Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh And a very good morning to Madam Hasna and all my fellow friends Yeah, first of all, we would like to thank Madam Hasna Abdul Qadir for this opportunity of this presentation To start this presentation, I would like to introduce uh, myself and my partners as the as the business is the nature uh, the business form is partnership so first myself ayu ulandari binti bojo elias bacho as a ceo and and administrative administrative uh, manager uh, so second nor shabida binti kifli as uh, our human resource manager and third uh, Nur Aina Muaz binti Muhammad Rashidi as our marketing and operation oper operational manager and last but not least Intan Suhana binti Azhari as our finance manager so today I would like to present uh, intro on introduction to our business spa and saloon which is head to toe spa and saloon consists that consists three things which is uh, br uh, brand goals and objective and services that we are provide so we you as you are, as you all can see in this slide we come up with this logo to present our company spa and saloon so we start with the circle which is represent our bonding and friendship among four of us and next we use head to toe spa and saloon because we provide services uh, from whole, whole body, from head to toe, uh, spa and saloon services that which is under one roof. Next, the color of the color used is blue. Blue is represent uh, on a uh, male area and, to, uh, and pink is for female. So, next, is our goals and objective. So our goal is purify and cleanliness. As you as you all can see nowadays, that uh, all people uh, tend to um, tend to very um, touch on uh, their idols, celebrities, and K-pop. So, which is to promote uh, their beauty and clean liners. So they tend to to follow them. So, so we start to take this uh, advantage to make uh, to produce our spa and saloon. Mm, and not only female, we also uh, nowadays male also uh, think um, start to think about the beauty and cleanliness. So we start this uh, spa and saloon to satisfy our needs. Uh, uh, no, our needs. Our company, our customer desires and needs. So the next is the objective, Sharia compliance spa and saloon, which is we, as you all can see in front of us, there is a replica that represent on female area spa and saloon. So only female can exit, uh, can pass this area, and the same design is used to uh, for male uh, area, which is beside the female uh, area. So uh, beside that, we also use our own substances to make our to make sure that all ingredients and substance that we we need are halal and healthy. So next, next I would like to move to our services uh, uh, that are provide from our spa and saloon. First, we. Uh, First, we move, uh, we start from head. We offer haircut, rebonding, curling, and hair wash. For those who had um, hair problems such as uh, and um, dandruff and hair fall, we also provide treatment, hair treatment uh, as effect the as the effectiveness is same as Yunam, but Yunam hair care. But don't worry because the price that we provide and offer is very reasonable. Uh, affordable and good. Next, we move to our next service, uh, which is facial treatment. For the facial treatment, we purchase very high technology, high and 
latest technology such as dermal technology crystal system and oxygen facial machine uh, for anti-aging and glow skin. So besides that, we also use our own inherent ingredient from our great grandparents, uh, which which is very healthy and without chemical substance for the natural beauty. Next is uh, massage, which is uh, very good for blood flow and to relieve stress. We also use. We also use aromatherapy to make sure our customer feel calm and relaxed. Next, sauna that is very that is also very popular among among our customer uh, that want to release stress but did not want to do massage. So sauna is one alternative because bathing sweat uh, can make our muscle relax and. Uh, flush, up the, uh, flush the toxin out from our body. So lastly, manicure and pedicure, which is uh, services that is very good in prevention from fungal infection that can occur when people does not aware on their nail cleanliness. That's all from me. I will pass my key to the next presenter, which is Noshaniza Bintuzawa. Okay. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. So, I am not sure Zabi Zakifli as the human resource manager will present the SWOT analysis. Okay, starting a business has both its strong point and uh, its risk. For the young entrepreneurs like us that just begin our business, is recommended to have SWOT analysis. And we decided to have a SWOT analysis to measure our uh, strengths, weakness, and opportunities and threats at the beginning of our business and also uh, to maintain our business uh, in the future. After that, we go to the first strength that we have. We employ, uh, the, the first strength is we employ only Muslim and Muslim workers. As our understanding, Islam is the religion that emphasizes um, cleanliness um, and good ethics at the workplace. So, we take serious and hire the Muslim and Muslim workers uh, with the good behavior and which is who is concerned with the cleanliness. Okay, our next strength is the convenience facilities that our spa provide. Of course, our spa will provide the best um, waiting room for our customers' companion. We, uh, we provide a digital television uh, that with the web uh, with the full extra channel and followed by um, delicious crunchy snacks. Okay, also we provide free Wi Fi for our guests and customers um, with no limitation of surfing. Okay, next, our spa provide a useful and comfortable musola for our customers to perform their solar. So, we hope that. With the presence of uh, Musola, our customers can enjoy our services uh, while they are preparing themselves at our spa uh, without uh, no need to chase time for performing their prayers. So they can perform their prayers at the, uh, at the early time. Okay, our third strength is uh, we, we planted small trees along the corridor and built a fountain at the middle of the uh, building to create the soothing environment. That is because we studied that nature can help us to cope, uh, to cope with pain with the existence of water, trees, and plants. Uh, so we, as the business uh, manager, we want our customer to have those benefits. Okay. After that, our spa use our own traditional products. Our own traditional products are based on traditional ingredients that we obtain from uh, natural diversity of nature to give the best effectiveness to our customers without harmful chemicals. Okay, next, our spa also have its own weaknesses that is we lack of experiences as we are the pilot in this field. Uh, second weakness of our business is the bad impression from the people 
towards spa as you know nowadays uh, people especially muslims think that the service provided at the spa such as massage um, are being misused and can lead to sumbang mahram so they they decide uh, they may prevent uh, the uh, to have the service at the spa okay here we have two opportunities that which is the first is the consultant with the professional seems to be are the pilot in this field uh, we don't have enough knowledge to manage our spa efficiently so uh, we decided to have uh, some consultation from the uh, from the experts to gain more knowledge to make our business successful second opportunity is the development of the technologies um, the growth of technologies give us um, help uh, to increase our services with the high level of customer satisfaction and also the technologies will help uh, our workers to do their job easy, easily uh, and unfortunately our spa business are having some threats which is taxes from government we cannot avoid the taxes uh, we cannot avoid to pay the taxes uh, as we have to pay the taxes to the governments our expenses will increase and the opportunities to spend at the expanding our business will uh, is lower the second threat is be afraid that there will have a rising sales of other substitute product uh, at our um, at our spa and <laughs> at other spa that is near to our place and popular products at the market so uh, so we are afraid that, that that will lead to a strong competition for us okay so that's all from me for our SWOT analysis the next presenter would be Aina Muaz thank you okay. thank you Nur Shamiza Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh I am Noraina Muaz binti Muhammad Rajidi. I am the Marketing and Operation Manager of Head to Toe Spa Institute. And roughly about myself, I was graduated from Harvard University in Bachelor degree with honors in Business and Marketing uh, in Marketing. So, the first of all, I would like to introduce our target market. The first one is the shopaholics, the second one is housewife, and the third one is college students. So there are a few reasons why we choose them as our target market. Firstly, the shopaholics, because we are, we our business is located in Shah Alam Section Tujuh, which are near which are which are a lot of famous online shop lots there. So shopaholics is going to be our first main target market. And the second one is housewives. Housewife, uh, because. There are a lot of houses also in that area and we, as everyone knows that housewives love to pamper themselves in the place where they tend to forget everything after a long busy day. And the third one is college students. Uh, UNICEL, UICM is the example of universities that we can see that near to our business and that's why we confidently can attract them to go to our spa because we are because of the very affordable prices and services as the one we get. Uh, we used to be the students before and we know how it feels to not be able to go to the spa because of the uh, expensive prices. Next is the product line. Uh, we apply the concept of product line into our business because we are specifically focusing on beauty and cleanliness, cleanliness only by using our inherent uh, inherent secret products. As final, we also have the target to maximize our profit and besides that, we bought our, pro our, our machine and equipment in, from Korea uh, as we want to achieve the target market on our investment. Next is, uh, we choose cost-based pricing as our pricing method because after we calculated we only uh, add up 10% of markup in every each of our services. Although we would like to maximize our profit, 
we still want to avoid riba or take advantage of our customers. As our pricing strategies, we implement the concept of new product pricing concept, which is penetration pricing. We are going to set a low price at the beginning of our our business, and we start. We know we might get lost at the beginning, but we know that we can be confident that we can catch up later. And the second strategy is product line pricing, which is captive pricing. The product that we use is cheaper than the machine that we bought from the Korea. And the last thing is the promotion strategy. The first one, we decided to choose the sales promotion, which is by giving samples to our first-timer customers. And the second one is frequent user, user incentive, as we are going to provide each one of our customers with an attractive card, like this one, the this card, that uh, with rules and regulations. For example, if they exceed 10 times of our services, they will get one free time service, any service that they, they will like. Next is our distribution channel, is producer to customer, because we don't need any middleman to be our retailer or wholesaler. That's all from marketing and operation manager. Thank you, I will pass to... So the 
the borrowing we need to pay is uh, within a year. So, next is our sale focus. As a finance manager, I need to focus the sale that we are going to that are going to happen throughout the year. So, at the first quarter of the year, you can see that the the market is about 200, 200, 3, and 40 ringgit, ringgit of sales. This is because we just started the business and we are offered the best price, which is the uh, special price for a starter. So we give a 30% discount to the customer to attract the customer to come and, and try our, uh, our services. So, uh, and in the second quarter, the sales are increased about slightly about 300 ringgit about 300 ringgit because um, at that time we are we are back to our own uh, our the original price so that uh, the customer are not as many as we uh, we have during the promotion so uh, the the sales are not increased too much uh, in the third in the third quarter of the year uh, the the you can see that there is a drop of the uh, sales because during that time there is no promotion and the price is still there but we we uh, there is some some In the third quarter, the sales continue to uh, start to drop because there is many competitors from the other spa because they introduce the new services, which is the mobile spa, and the customer tend to try their services, and that goes to our sales and become drop down. So for the last quarter, the we have uh, planned uh, some promotion to increase back our our sales. <coughs> So the sales are increased due to the customer that increase because that during that time, during that period, there is so many occasion happens uh, help on that time, uh, such as wedding. So all the customers are tend to go to the to our services to get the services, and during that time we give them the best price because that is the end of the the end of the year. So uh, we give the low low price because we want to attract the the customer to use our services to get our services okay next we move to the profit contribution and social responsibilities okay after we calculating the sales and the revenue all of us has agreed to to uh, contribute some of our, of our profit to the Islamic sectors first of all we would like to contribute our some of our profit to uh, saving for a mosque uh, the purpose of giving the money to the mosque is whether to repairing uh, for repairing purpose or to build up the new mosque. So the mosque is um is uh, located in the uh, rural area or uh, in the rural area. Okay, next the uh, the profit will contribute to the to the upcoming to the upcoming Ayu Adha that we are going to be happen in this less than one month. So we are going to buy a cow or goat for a good for a for a corvette. So we are going to contribute it to the orphan house, the welfare house, so that they can they can celebrate the Hari Raya as we all do. So that's all for our for our for our group. So so remember, a good business is a business that benefits to the other.